Hi guys, so right now I'm trying out my new uh, lens um, on my camera so you can see wide angle, okay? Um, this sharing live is to um, give some friends and all our friends who are tennis players, who are doubles lovers, who play doubles on a weekly basis, okay? Share with all our friends that play tennis, doubles, okay, where it's a social game. It's not really that social most of the time. Most of the time people play doubles, um, they think it's a friendly game, but actually they get pretty competitive, okay? And uh, all our friends um, in our world, most of the time they play league or they call it different names. And uh, doubles is a great game for you to socialize with people, but it's not very fun when you're losing most of the time. You might have a <laughs> smile on your face, but most of the time if you're losing, because you don't know what you're doing, it's not very enjoyable. So I want this live is to share with everybody that I'm hosting a doubles seminar this year. We did one last year very successfully and this year it's pretty packed. The room is packed but I want to share with more friends so we're trying to see if we can invite some more friends to come to our double seminar. Uh, for our friends who are um, international and cannot make it, um, there will be an ebook being pressed out. So if you're interested in the ebook for the doubles, um, message us and we'll see if we can get one to you. Um, but this one is the sharing for uh, our friends who can make it to our Modern Double Seminar this Saturday from 12 to 3. Um, yeah, doubles is a lot of fun. Um, sometimes singles is mm, not so, it's a different game. But doubles you get to communicate, you get to socialize and you know, show, um, you know, show off or let your friends show off or let your partner show off. Um, and uh, this is a sharing for some doubles tips that you guys might find useful. Um, again, these are just tips that are general. Um, of course, they're more specific stuff and we're gonna share that in a double seminar. But I wanna share with you guys some doubles tips right now. And we've got my hoo hoo hoo. I've got this um, uh, iPad Pro happening. Now, I'm going to be referring to the juice side only today because of the time we have because I'm going to jump into another lesson um, very soon but I'm thinking about you guys and want to share some info with everybody okay here is a double situation where you have your opponents and we have us cool now the other side okay is the evil side okay these are the opponents and these are us this is what we call the normal doubles situation, okay? And uh, we're talking to the talking about the juice side where you're serving. This is the serving team and this is the returning team, okay? We're going to serve to the juice side. Cool? Red is the serving team, that's us. These are the returning team. Alright? Let's set, let's set that standard right now, the situation. Um, we're trying to give you guys some tips on the doubles. And uh, I'm going to first give you guys a tip okay if you can see it again returner serving team that's us serving team first tip is your service partner he is the server with the ball this is the service partner okay where is your service partner located okay give you guys a tip make sure your service partner is not standing too far to the sideline, okay? Some friends are like, oh no, the opponent's gonna pass me down the line. But guys, I'll let you know, most of the pros, okay? The service partner is standing very close to the middle before the serve even takes place. You don't have to stand very close to the sideline. You only need to stand there when there's a chance of the opponent hitting it there, okay? Plus, if you stand here, it gives them a lot of pressure on the returner, okay? So, and give you guys a tip. Sometimes the server, okay, cannot hold their serve. It's because, not because of the server's fault most of the time. Most of the time, it's because the service partner is not doing his job, okay? He's not helping out, okay? We used to play these uh, tournaments called um, 
pro amp, okay? Pro amp is where a pro will play with an amateur together, and we usually, I'll tell you now, okay? We usually play for money, okay? Now, when I'm the pro and I'm playing with an amateur and he's serving, I don't blame him for losing his serve or whatever. I blame myself. But most of the time, the pro is all over the net, okay? Trying to intercept the return called poaching. And most of the time, if you are very active at the net, the opponent gets scared and they have pressure, right? They sometimes make a mistake. So, what I'm trying to say is try to locate around, just try, you know, locate halfway right in the middle of that service box, okay? Try it. Give your opponents a more of a hard time. Of course, your partner has the server must get the first serve in most of the time. This can, by standing here, give your opponents a lot of pressure already, okay? Try that. That's my first tip for you guys, okay? Service partner, help out by standing in the right spot, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Let's bring up the second tip, okay? We're going to call this, okay, outside to outside, okay? Follow this tip outside to outside, okay? Okay. Now, again, comment if you've got any comments. It's all good, okay? I'm going to try to answer as much as I can before I jump onto the court and start coaching, okay? All right, my private lesson. Now, serving team. That's us. Returning team. Cool? Okay. In this situation, this one, let's just talk about the team upstairs. Cool? I'm talking about an idea which you guys can try. Remember, go outside to outside. What does that mean? So, I'm gonna try to make sure I don't push the wrong buttons here, okay? Give me some time, okay, guys? Alright? The ball is here. Okay, the ball. Uh oh, I did a mistake here. I did a mistake here, okay? Let's just say the ball is here, okay? That's the ball, cool? The ball is outside the court, cool? Outside the court. So he can go outside, he can go outside. Do not try to hit the ball inside. Do not do this one okay don't go inside because if you go inside then this guy can intercept it and then put a hole right through your partner okay for all our doubles players okay and who are for our tennis players they know what we're talking about so do not hit the ball inside when you're outside so let me delete that thing here don't do this shot okay okay Go from outside to outside and outside to outside. You've got two choices, okay? That makes you play a better strategic shot from outside to outside. Cool? Try that. Let me know how you feel, okay? Do not go from outside to inside. Okay, that's my second tip for you guys. Okay? Next one. Next one, guys. Then it's inside to inside. Inside the inside, okay? Now, show you the situation, okay? This guy, what we were talking about right before, okay? Now, he's in a different situation now because the ball is now here, okay? When you're inside the court, go through the inside. That's going down the middle. Don't go down the middle when you're outside. Go down the middle when you're inside. Again, these are general tips for you to try, okay? Go from inside to inside because if you go to the middle when you're outside then the oh, the guy at the net is going to intercept it cool try to go inside to inside try that let me know how you feel okay next one okay so here again tips you guys have to try okay if you're a serving team, if you're the server, okay? Don't just have your team serve normally and stand normally so that you're all predictable, okay? Have, have your service partner, these are the serving team, these are the returning team, okay? We are down here. We are the server. 
when your ball is served over, okay, when your ball is served over, this is the ball here, you serve the ball over, okay, to the opponent. Hey guys, I want you guys to try to have my, your partner move over and this partner so they interchange place. That's called a crossing formation. Crossing formation. You plan this already. So you serve and both of you guys interchange. Cross. And then you realize you put some pressure on the opponent, which is this guy. Okay? And sometimes he might some, make some good shots. But sometimes he will miss the ball altogether because of the pressure that you put on him. Okay? Try it along with your normal serving found, uh, formation. That's another tip. Give me a comment. Try it. Okay? And then to show you guys here. Okay? Now, again, we are serving to the juice side. This is the serving team, this is the returning team. Do you see this guy here? Do you see this guy here? Okay? Usually, he would serve, he would stand here. Yeah? But now, I want you guys to try. Have your service partner stand on the same side as the server. Okay? Whether you call it an I formation or an Australian formation, doesn't matter, okay? When you guys are serving, serving to this side, okay? I want you to try to start the point with your service partner on the same side as the server. Try it, let me know how it goes, okay? This can cause a lot of pressure on the returner, okay? You guys have to try that so you're not so predictable when you guys are serving, okay? Now, last tip for you guys who are all, you're all social players, right? Most of the time you guys don't get a chance to practice the way that you guys practice, okay? So what you guys, most of the kind of time you guys practice is ground strokes, forehand, backhand. Not volleys. I'm sorry, if you guys practice volleys a lot, that's great. But most of the time, most people only practice their forehand, backhand because they're the social players. So, when you guys are playing your match, try this formation as a returner. This is returning team, this is serving team, okay? So here, the serving team is this guy. Okay? This is the serving team. Not talking about serving team, no, talking about returning team. Do you see that, this guy? This is the returner's partner. He is not standing here. I want you guys to try to stand there. Why? Because if you guys are both doing a returning formation from the baseline, you put more pressure on the server because you guys are now hitting strong ground strokes. Cool? Try that, let me know how it goes. Remember, you do not have to return always one up, one back. You can always try something different with two at the baseline. Okay, so two at the baseline. That's how my partner and I and a lot of pros play doubles, advanced doubles, professional doubles nowadays. Returning the first serve with a double back formation because strong ground strokes. This puts a lot of pressure on the serving team. You guys have to try that. Don't just do it for the pros. You guys can try that too. So, just some sharing for you guys here. All right, so. Be sure to click in for our friends who are in Hong Kong. Join our doubles seminar this Saturday, 12 to 3. We will go through a lot of tactics, myths, and all the great stuff and tactics and strategies that are used in the Pro Tour. Cool? And for our friends who cannot reach it, message us, give you guys that ebook, get you guys that ebook that we have videos and a book. Okay? okay? It's very interesting for you guys to try. And uh, we'd love to share and help you guys dominate your doubles court and have a social game where you're laughing and not being laughed at, right? Social game is always fun when you're the one that's winning, right? It's always a friendly match, but it's better when you're winning. So click on the link and have a look and be sure to message us with all your feedback uh, that you guys have with the doubles tips that you guys just had, okay? Or share it with a friend that uh, plays doubles, okay? And uh, let me know how you feel. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you all soon. Thank you.